Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial number 20 on Kirio Control UTM configuration series. In this tutorial, I will cover the SSL certificate submenu under configuration menu. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can create a certificate, how you can delete a certificate, and how you can assign the newly created certificate in a specific settings. Let's start. Before we proceed to the configuration, first we should know that what is SSL. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer, a security protocol that creates an encrypted link between a web server and a web browser. What is an SSL certificate? An SSL certificate is a digital certificate that authenticates a website's identity and enables an encrypted connection. Now let's proceed to the configuration. Open the web browser, enter the IP address of your Kirio control administration panel, enter the username and password, and press the login button. Click on the SSL certificates submenu. By default, you can see that there is only one local authority certificate, which will be expired on 3rd December 2031. First, let's create a new certificate for local authorities, which will be used for the inside local connection of your network. Click on the add button and select new certificate for local authority. By default, the hostname will be automatically detected. Enter your organization name. Write down the organization unit, city, state, and province. From the country, select your desired country. And from the validity, you can select from minimum one year up to maximum of 10 years. Press the OK button to create the new certificate for local authority. Press the Apply button to save the changes. Here, as you can see, guys, that whenever we create a new local authority certificate, the old one will be renamed to Absolute Local Authority Certificate. Now, let's create a new certificate which will be used for the outside connections. Click on the Add button and select New Certificate. Provide a name for the certificate Write down the host name of your Kirio control. By default, the name will be control if you haven't modified it. If you have modified the host name, write down the modified host name in here. Write down the alternative host name and enter your organization name. Enter your organization unit, city, and state or province. From the country, select your desired country, and from the validity period, you can select from minimum one year up to maximum of 10 years. I will select the maximum 10 years, press the OK button to create the new certificate. Click on the Apply button to save the changes. Let's assign the newly created certificate. We will assign the newly created certificate in four places in Interfaces menu, in Proxy Server menu, in Advanced Options, and in Domain and User Login. Let's assign it for the Interfaces menu first. Click on the Interfaces, select VPN Server, right-click on it, and select Edit. In the Certificate, select the New Certificate from drop-down menu. Click on the Kirio VPN tab, and from the certificate drop-down, select the new certificate, which is Certificate 2021. Press the OK button, and click on Apply button to assign the certificate for VPN server users. The second place where we should assign the certificate is Proxy Server. Click on the Proxy Server menu, Click on the Reverse Proxy tab, 
and from the settings select the new certificate from the drop down and click on the apply button now we need to assign the certificate for advanced options click on the advanced options menu click on the web interface tab and from the SSL certificate select the newly created certificate and click on the apply button by default it has detected the newly created certificate the fourth place where we should assign the new certificate is domain and user login under the authentication options tab and under Wi-Fi authentication or radio server setting from the server certificate drop down select the new certificate and click on the apply button now the certificates are assigned but still I have a pop-up in here which says that I haven't assigned the certificate for advanced options click on the advanced options link here it says that under the web interface we haven't assigned any certificate from the drop down let's select the new certificate and press the apply button now that we have assigned all the certificates in the specific settings let's delete the absolute local authority certificate to delete an absolute certificate first select the certificate right click on it and select remove or just simply select the certificate and click on the more actions button and select remove from the menu click on the apply button to apply the changes if you want to see the details of a certificate select the certificate and click on the show details button in the details tab you can see the details of your certificate click the close button to close the certificate details and that's all for today guys if this video helped you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you face any error during the configuration and settings comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible i will catch you very soon with another tutorial till then have nice time